I think that young people should uh, listen to their own hearts uh, and they should seek knowledge. They should really look at, uh, um, go beyond the, the, the uh, news that they get and seek real knowledge and also search for uh, alternatives to, uh, to war. And there are lots of good alternatives. Um, they can uh, look, start by looking into their own local uh, environment. Are they in the school or in the university? Where do they get their information from? Um, are uh, somebody trying to manipulate their way of thinking? Um, are there some injustices uh, in their local environment that they would like to do something about? And then probably there, there are injustices and there will probably also be organizations or groups of people that are addressing these issues. So they should inform themselves about what is existing. Uh, are there somebody addressing their main concerns? Uh, if there is not anybody addressing these concerns, they might want to rally other young people with them. Um, we have had uh, these uh, fantastic uh, mobilization. Uh, uh, we are the 99 and they are the, uh, the 1%. Uh, we have had the um, indignados or the indigné in, in France. Um, we had the beginning of the uh, Arab Spring, which was exceptionally encouraging. Um, so there are many ways that they can involve uh, themselves. But uh, seeking, uh, seeking knowledge as a support for their own um, feeling that something is wrong. So a combination of uh, believing in themselves and seeking knowledge and then seeking partners. Um, and um, uh, many of the big uh, non-governmental organizations have youth sections and um, are very, very happy to get more young people on board because we have to admit that many in the peace movement are uh, getting elderly people. So combining experience and youthful um, energy and new thinking, I think is a good, uh, is a good thing.